get you caught up on all the latest entertainment headlines with Don Yannick, the editor at large for Life and Style Weekly. Don, good to see you. Good to um, see you. Lots to talk about. Let's talk first about Levi Johnston and Bristol Palin looking for a reality TV deal per TMZ. What do we know about this? Yes, reports just recently surfaced, I mean, after the surprise re-engagement this week, that the two of them are shopping a new reality show. Now, no deal is inked just yet. There are no specifics at this moment, but what we've been hearing is that it will likely center on the two of them and their young son and all of the challenges that they face. And I'm sure that uh, Sarah Palin and the GOP will especially love this reality show if it happens. Yeah, can you <laughs> imagine inviting cameras into that whole thing? Let's turn it to um, Lindsay Lohan, of course, uh, who has a substance abuse problem, has been sentenced uh, back to jail, but she's got a new lawyer who certainly has a personal connection with addiction. Tell us about that. He does. Um, Robert Shapiro is actually no stranger to high-profile cases. He actually represented or helped to represent O.J. Simpson in the mid-90s. Now, his terms of agreeing to represent Lindsay reportedly in a statement that he made yesterday were that she accept responsibility and that she abide, abides by the judge's terms and serve her jail sentence, which is supposed to start this coming Tuesday. Now, he's no stranger to addiction, unfortunately, because his son passed away from a drug overdose in 2005, and he actually founded Pickford Lofts, which is the sober living facility that Lindsay Lohan checked into earlier this week. Yeah, you know, I read that and I thought, you know, maybe Robert Shapiro, who I know was uh, founded, of course, uh, this place in honor of his son can really help uh, Lindsay Lohan, not just with the legal stuff, with, but with some of the other problems that she's facing. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I think this is really going to help get her back on the right track with her life, and hopefully her career will follow. And, of course, as we know at Life and Style Weekly, America really loves a comeback, especially when people are really trying to change their lives. We want to give them a second chance. No doubt there's some um, conflicting reports out there that Trump, that Donald Trump is trying to score Tiger's old flame, um, Rachel Utkatel, for a celebrity appearance. Uh, is that true? Do we believe it? <laughs> there are conflicting reports right now. Um, originally, TMZ was reporting that Donald Trump had approached her, that she said that it would be a great idea. But according to a report on Access Hollywood, this deal is not in place and she hasn't even been approached yet. But I wouldn't be surprised if this happens. Donald Trump is a master of marketing. Marketing. Of course, this would garner a lot of attention and, of course, boost ratings, especially initially. There's no doubt a lot of people would want to see that. Yes. Uh, Don Yannick. Don, thanks so much. Thank you. And the ruins of a New Jersey parking lot. Animated stars and teen heartthrobs have dominated the box office this summer, but Warner Brothers is banking on Leonardo DiCaprio to fill seats at theaters beginning this weekend. If you haven't seen some of the promos yet, pretty unbelievable. Take a quick look at Inception. I am the most skilled extractor. I know how to search your mind and find your secrets. I know the tricks, and I can teach them to you so that even when you're asleep, your defense is never down. Don Yannick is the editor-at-large for Life and Style Weekly. All right, Don, let's talk about the movies that are out there. What about Inception? Oh, it is one of the most highly anticipated films of the summer, and let me tell you, it totally delivers. This is from the mind of Christopher Nolan, who, of course, helmed The Dark Knight just two years ago, and it's about a man, Leonardo DiCaprio, who can enter people's dreams, extract information, and implant ideas. It's a lot of layers of dreaming. It's very complex. You really have to pay attention and follow it, but the payoff is big. The action is great. It's a psychological action thriller. The acting is stellar, and critics have been saying that uh, their reviews are overwhelmingly positive. It's going to do big numbers at the box office this weekend as well. Right now, it seems on track for $55 million, though some analysts are predicting it could go as high as $70 million this weekend. Ooh, that's a good sort of um, promo for that movie. What about Sorcerer's Apprentice? Well, Warner Brothers is soaring this weekend with Inception, but Disney, on the other hand, is having a very disappointing weekend. The Sorcerer's Apprentice is not doing well. It looks like it's going to come in fourth place and be beat out by two movies we loved at Life and Style Weekly, but two movies that have been out for a while. Those would be Despicable Me and Eclipse. The problem with this movie is that it just seems to fall a little bit flat, even though Nicolas Cage is reunited with the director 
from the na from the National Treasure franchise. They just mm. failed to recapture that magic, unfortunately. Yeah, Despicable Me. It's been a huge hit for NBC Universal. Yeah, I and mean, Family Fair it does so well. And when you have a really well done, great product, it does even better. So we are seeing Despicable Me likely coming in the number two spot this weekend with really strong numbers. And even Toy Story 3 is still doing pretty well. It's in its fifth week, and it's probably going to come in fifth place. All good stuff, and I've got to get out to the movies myself. It's just hard with three young kids and, and working on the weekends and all that <laughs> stuff, but I'm, you've really encouraged me to try and make time because it looks like a lot of good summer flicks out there. Definitely good stuff this weekend. All right, Don Yannick, nice to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you. And still ahead, tail up.